Hello everyone, and welcome to another day of All Creator Live, and I'm back playing more Medieval. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, before I get started today, I uh, actually, as I stated previously on, I think it was uh, part six, maybe part seven. Uh, I was going to look into getting the cog for the machine in Scarecrow Fields. Uh, part of me was trying to remember exactly where it was, and I thought maybe it was in the Sleeping Village. And I'm supposed to take it back to here, but... That's that's not it at all. It's actually in the scarecrow fields. It's just at the very end and I completely forgot. That's why during the level I said to myself, I kind of remember going all the way through the level and then going having to go back through the level. <laughs> that's why because you get the cog at the very end of the level and then you go back through to get back to the structure and <laughs> And I completely forgot that. So this is a little something I'm going to be adding on to this one because uh, what I'm going to be doing next is facing the pumpkin serpent. And uh, that's that's a level in and on itself, but I'm pretty sure I remember it being a short level because it's, you know, it has a boss at the end of it. Kind of like how... That's this one. Yeah, I see the alternate path up that way. I didn't see it when I was playing this level before. Yeah, because this one's difficult. It's very difficult to time these things. Ah. Got the cog piece. Or the harvester part, whatever it's called. Going back is not as difficult. You're kind of going in the direction of the swings. Going back through here might be difficult though. <laughs> no, it's pretty much the same. It's a bit easier, just don't have to wait as long. Well, oh, that's fine. Just gotta get through more death traps. Oh, come on, go. Go back in. Ah, shit. There's camera. Ah, why it's so bad. Go very fast. Didn't realize it, but you don't. Okay. All right, Mr. Harvester Park. Do your job. Go, Harvester, go. Just a single jump. Nothing too big. I don't really need these, but I'll take them, man. I'll take that brand new bottle, baby! Oh, 
Stop walking! God damn this controller. Hey, hey, go, go! <laughs> That's an instant kill! Here I come. Yay, we're back and we got the chalice and did all the things. Yay. Gaining allies in the hall of the heroes is the way forward. Hack, choppity chop, off <laughs> with a few zombies' heads, and it thinks it can redeem itself in battle. You still have a long way to go to rank as the best. <laughs> You're mean. And he looks to replenish my sword. It costs a hundred. That's not that bad, actually. Now it's added magic. <laughs> Very interesting way to get a trophy. That was super easy. Get up. You deserve it. Alright, let's go get our new thing, the Majigger. May have to switch controllers, because this one is annoying the crap out of me with that. By God, Fortescue, you must be the luckiest corpse ever to walk the face of the earth. I have something here I can lend to you. Take it or leave it. But remember, I'm only doing this for the sake of Galomir's doomed population, and not for you, you gangly buffoon! <laughs> More money. Oh well. I got a new bottle anyway. That means I might be able to do the ant thingy majigger, which I won't be doing now. I'll definitely do it later after the pumpkin serpent. But that is something that I plan on doing. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go face the pumpkin surf and I should probably make this my main weapon. Oh, is there anything up yet? No, not really, I don't think there was. I got the cog? I showed off where I got the cog. <laughs> And now, we go to the Pumpkin Serpent. Time to fight us a big old pumpkin. some pumpkin all right so as I said this is a level so there's a chalice here that means I have to kill a lot of stuff but more importantly it means I have to be careful the king pumpkin sleeps if you want an audience with this regal plant you should mash all of his pod sacks and that's the point of the level find the pod sacks smash them not the boss fight. And they're like, what did you just do? Okay, 
take that. Okay. It is rumored that the pumpkin witch is in possession of a much sought after dragon gem. If you have a witch talisman, you could summon this kindly witch. Uh, yep, I already know that. Just further indication that I'm supposed to go here before the Enchanted Forest. Or the Enchanted Earth. Enchanted Forest. Oh, jeepers. That's in the stop. I thought they'd be chasing me, but no, they just want to spit. You know what, I'm going to pause real quick and switch out my controller because... God, I hate... I hate how the joystick on, on the one side is making me walk instead of run. Oh, I've got to, uh... Alright, real quick, everybody. And then devices. Turn off device. Controller. I'm going to turn this one on. There we go. Let's do the trick. <clears throat> Alright, resume. Alright, so I need to get the witch here too, apparently. I don't know what it is I do here with the witch. I have a talisman. So let's go ahead and use it. See what happens. Kind oh, sir. right, this I guy. I'm the pumpkin witch. I'm like a mother to those pumpkins. I give them all the love and care a young fruit could ever ask for. From the moment they first push a shoot above the soil, right up until their heads are cut off and eaten. And look, see how they repay me, running around and causing mischief. That nasty old big pumpkin has a bad influence on the young seedlings. If you teach him a lesson in manners, I might give you a nice present. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was worried for a second that they would put me somewhere that I didn't want to be. But yeah, sure. It's on my way to doing what I've already been doing. So. Ah, crap. Dang, dang, dang. Any of these tentacles. Tendrils. Tendril tentacles. Trendricles. Squish. Six more pods. Ugh, red muffins and they got the boom booms going with them. Like, hey, hey, come out. He is. Look, his little arms are wobbling like cut. Stop it. I think he deflects them. Didn't look like he was getting hurt. Nothing else? Alright, good. <laughs> yeah, crud up. the stream. I couldn't see crap there for a minute. <laughs> right, let's clear back. Wait. And the bounce. Out. Okay, don't shoot that treasure chest. I'm gonna need it in the fight with him. Or that one. That one needs it. Ah, crud mother. Oh, 
thought it was gonna be these pumpkins up here, then those guys jumped out. One pod remaining. I should grab the chalice first. And also go over here. That. That's where it is. Okay. Well then. Try not to shoot that. I'm already dead. I feel like it's safe to walk on here. <laughs> I like the little fish they got. <laughs> it's cute. Well, not really, because they're in the middle of not trying to die. That's not that cute. <laughs> so let's go get that chalice and then come back to that fountain, refuel, get that pod, and get that pumpkin. Huh. Where is us, so. I've seen them coming over this way. I thought maybe it was in this house, but I don't see an entrance to the house. Unless there's a back entrance. Oh wait, do I have to go into the top? Uh, no. Let's go further back. That's just a hole. I think they would exit out of the level. I don't know. So. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> to be honest, that's actually traditional to the- wait a minute, I think I remember how to get in. Isn't it through there? Yeah. Uh, ow, 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 ow. Can I shoot them? I- I've tried. Maybe I uh, smash them. No? Uh, I can't get down there. Uh, I gotta do something. I have to go back and talk to the pumpkin because I did get rid of a lot of things. I mean, we gotta kill the pumpkin uh, before. I mean, yeah, that's right. Those are his tendrils, so killing him would get rid of those. And it's not like I automatically exit out of the level once I kill a boss. So let's go on over to the fountain. Get this last thing. <laughs> Whatever it's called. And then go fight out the pumpkin king. It's like, hey, that's not nice. Gross, man, gross. Come on, shoot it. Ugh. Not that. That was close. Get my way. Ah, I got caught in that too. I'm not doing this. <laughs> ah, come on. You dead. <laughs> oh wait. Oh, right. Far from over. Walking isn't helping. So I gotta find them real quick. Ah, there's one. Oh, it's healing. Oh no. There it is.
Ah, it was back there. Damn it. What I wanted to do. Get on there. One back there. One back there. Now's not the time to walk. Nah. Now it's the time to run. They're like, oh no, our master! <laughs> Oof. He's gotten ever so lucky. See kids, that's what happens when you don't bring the pumpkin in after Halloween. Pumpkin. Oops. Give me that chili. Oh, and all the health I could ever want. Thank you. Ah, well, it's safe to see where he was getting his water from. Probably put them out of their misery. Or him. There's only one left. You poor little thing. Here, let me help you to the afterlife. Oh. Didn't work. I guess he's an immortal fish. Alright, you ugly. Bye bye. And that was the pumpkin serpent, everybody. Wasn't he lovely?
Now, off to the Hall of Heroes. <clears throat> Nothing to say? Okay then. Alright, up the steps then. Second floor unlocked. Only when you are truly worthy as a hero will you be able to ascend to the higher level of this hall. When you have paid homage to all of the heroes in the lower hall, the ghostly stairs will then become solid. And there you go. And then, here we go. Get the spear. Dan, Dan, Dan. <laughs> Don't be shy. I've seen you giving me the eye. You may be weak and feeble <laughs> like old men, but I like you, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen up. Your bow and arrows are fine for itty bitty jobs, but if you want to pack some serious heat, you should take this spear. Got me a spear. Alright, now I can't quite exactly remember how the spear functions. I think it's a projectile weapon. Ah, oh. And then there's the more powerful. Ah, man. And I still want it. Even after I swap. Axe is better. Oh, no, that sword. Yeah, that's better. But the axe is good, too. Then there's the doorway. I don't, I don't remember there being a doorway, but... No. And that was the Hall of Heroes. <coughs> Off we go. Well, let's go ahead and heal a bunch of stuff up. And then next time, I will figure out exactly what it is I'm going to be doing. Alright everyone, thank you for tuning in to another day of All Career Live. I hope I get to see you all next time. That's tomorrow. I kind of lost track of exactly how, how much time I'm supposed to be spending on what it is I'm doing right now. <laughs> but, you know. I think it's the 3rd of November, <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in. Bye-bye. Alright, now to all of you watching, um... <coughs> and the unedited archives. I'm just gonna heal Dan up a bit. Oh, that pumpkin fight wasn't as hard as I remember it being, but then again it was probably because of the controls. Even though for some reason my controller on my other one was acting very, you know, stupid. This one doesn't have that problem though. I think it's because that's my uh, my very first PlayStation 4 controller that I use with this. Uh, I only have two. Well, technically I have like five PS4 controllers, but my sisters and my mother use the others. We have like three PS3s in our home. So, or PS4s, I mean. to work with. <clears throat> well, part of me thinks there is one of those money gargoyles in here. 
and then again they probably didn't. I don't know, but I know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go back to the anthill and try to kill the queen again. Because <coughs> A, I have the new weapon, the spear, which is very effective. And B, I definitely need to do something. I've already showed off the enchanted forest. Or the Enchanted Earth, I keep saying forest. I already showed off the Enchanted Earth. So, you know, I could just make this a separate video. Showcasing the ant uh, colony. Or whatever it's called. I know it has an official name. I'll look that up before I, you know, decide to crop the video. <clears throat> but for now, I'll just call it Ant Colonies. Alright, so I'm about to mute it and go ahead and start up with the next episode, everyone.